Uh, yeah. So it's supposed to cut down on the sound. It does, but it's not that great. Okay. <laughs> great. So there's two cameras in here. Okay. One of them's here. I don't know where the other one's at. It's hidden somewhere. Okay. Uh, and then, of course, there's audio everywhere. I appreciate you coming down. No one's under arrest. You're leaving with your attorney when we finish. Um, just don't lie to me. Sure. <laughs> That's all I'll say. Yes, Lying is the fastest way to cause us to flip. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, full name. Tyler Lee Allen. Tyler, where do you live at? Address? Uh huh. 63 mm -hmm. 24 Rockefeller Drive, R O C K E F E L L E R. Columbus? Columbus 31909. <clears throat> and I think I've got your phone number, but just in yes, case. 706 332 And you're married? Yes, sir. Two years? Four years? Eight years. Eight years. How long have you worked at the architectural firm? I've worked there for four years. How long have you known? Jeannie and Jeanette. And Jeanette. She's got a weird name. I could never yeah, remember. Uh, and Jeanette, how long have you known um, her for? Since she started, about a year and a half. So me and you spoke briefly, so I get the impression that something's been going on between y'all. I don't know exactly all the details for a period of time. Yes, sir. How long, so you've known her for a year and a half. How long have y'all been, ha been, how long ago did y'all start hanging out together? It was about end of September, early October. Okay. What caused that to start happening? Um, social drinking. You invite her, she invite you. Was it a group thing? Um, it started as a group thing at Fridays okay. at the end of work, um, and then after a couple times of that, then we would meet together in the parking deck and keep drinking. The parking deck was directly across from our office. So after y'all would hang out, you would go back to the parking deck and drink more? Correct. Okay. Alone. And that was just on Fridays? Yes, sir. Did it evolve to where it was more than once a week? Or yes, sir. How often a week would y'all hang out more? Um, it, it was irregular. But it's twice a week. Okay. So after always on Friday, typically, but maybe one other time. Yes, sir. And it was, was it always after work? Yes, sir. Was it ever during work? No, sir. Okay. Did you bring beer? Yes. Okay. We both did. You both did? Yes, okay. Sir. Did your wife know? No, sir. Did her husband know? No, sir. Okay. What do you think her feelings towards you were when this first started? Did, I mean, did you think that she was interested? Did you think it was a friendship? What do you think was going on here? Yes, sir. She had mentioned about talking to her friend after we had started drinking the parking deck um, and mentioned that she told her I was really cute. And so there was some flirting going on, um, some mutual attraction to each other. So she told someone she was talking to that you were cute? She told me that she had told her okay. that I was cute. Okay. Right. Yes, sir. Did y'all do anything besides going to have a couple of drinks and, and meeting on the parking deck? Did y'all ever go out anywhere else? Did you ever do anything? I got a club together? No, sir. Um, there were a, a couple different times outside of the parking deck at her house. Um, there were three occasions. The first occasion, um, well, before the first occasion of me going over there, she invited me over and gave me her address. Um, pulled up in the driveway, felt conviction, and left. Never got out of the car. Uh, went home. Um, and then the second time, went over and hung out. It was when she had a day off, and so I went over there. Um, Were you off early. that day? I, I left work early at okay. 3 o'clock. Okay. Um, and we drank in her kitchen and talked. Um, you know, just flirted. Nothing really happening there. Um, and the second time we were drinking in the parking deck and she had to let her dog out. So I drove her in my car to her house. She went and let the dog out and then drove her back to the parking deck where her car was. Um, okay. 
And that was really the first time that we had kind of touched. And on the way back, I put my hand on her leg and drove all the way back to the parking lot that way. And we were still talking and flirting. Um, dropped her off, and that was that. Okay. The, I'm assuming the last encounter, which was like December 27th or 28th. 28th. Tell me about that that evening. Sure. So we met in the parking deck before, and we were drinking, um, you know, a lot of flirting, talking, and uh, she called up her friend, had her on Skype, and so you know we were just talking about different work things. And was it all three of y'all talking, or just you and? Yes, sir. It was all three of us. Okay. We were all in in my car. And okay. Her, her friend was on Skype. Okay. Um, and that was when I put my hand on her leg because I'd done before, and she was like, "No." And so I took it off, and I understood. You know, what she, she didn't was want saying. a friend to see it. Right. That's why I said. Um, and then that was at that point she started talking about her mom having some trees cut down and got really distraught. So rubbed her back and comforted her. Uh, it's kind of weird, but we were drinking, so right. uh, it was excusable. Um, and then that kind of just like, okay, well, let's go. And then after we left there, I live a lot further away, and I, I called her after we left and I said, hey, can I stop by your house and use the restroom since your house is on the way? She's like, yeah. And so we pull up to her house about the same time, get out of the car. And Do you walk. have a phone? Yes, sir. Do you got it on you? Yes, sir. Can I see it? See my phone? Uh-huh. You mean anything? Mm -hmm. No, sir. Can you pull up your call log? I, I know I don't have that call on here okay. because my wife did not know. He brought me, and I've left a moment on this, but he okay. brought me the call log from that day uh -huh. and it's it's a um there is a call at 746 to our house which is when he called and said can i come over okay and then there's um, to her house to her phone her cell phone okay her cell phone okay um and then there is a series of about four or five attempted calls after he left and then two five-minute conversations after that and apparently she had left when she was her dog got out she's chasing her dog her phone was still at the house and he couldn't get her and then when she got back there's two and then after that, there are, uh, for, for a solid month and a half, there's probably 100, 150 texts between the two of them. Some of them initiated by her, some of them initiated by him. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's a whole bunch of Does it show what the texts are? No, it's just, I, they, they you can still keep it that, but they got, it just shows that there was right. texting back and forth and stuff. And he says it was flirtatious stuff back and forth after that mm -hmm. event. But the multitude of, there, there'll be conversations. What kind of phone do you have? Um... Like brand Samsung, so it's not an Apple. No, sir. I'm going to ask you to do something. Willingly. Okay. Okay, and I'll go ahead and tell you. If you say no, I'm going to get a search warrant. I'm going to do okay. it anyway. Okay. But if what you're saying is true, this will exonerate you. Okay. I can get our technician to dump your phone, and it will show us those text messages. Okay. Okay. Problem is, you're going to be without a phone for a while. It's mm -hmm. going to be, I would say, like six weeks. Wow. Okay. It, it could be that long. It could be longer. It might be, it might be two weeks. Okay. I, I, I don't know how busy he, how busy that, that unit is, but I mean, it's not, it's there. It's not going away. And if it's, it's text messages to your phone and yes. it's not an Apple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So even if you delete them, they're still there. Apple. Okay. Apple kills them. Oh. Apple's a nightmare. Right. I hate Apple. Okay. So I called Apple the other day. I got a girl that's being stalked. Called Apple up and said, hey, I've got somebody that's, um, they've hacked her phone and they've created, they put her phone on another phone. Oh, yeah. Well. Yeah. And they're stalking her. Oh, wow. And she's a captain in the military. And I know that you can see talking to Apple, I know that y'all can see the IP address where this is taking place from. Right. And I would like to get that IP address. And I said, yeah, sure. Take us to court. Sue us. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> and I said, no. 
if you want it, that gets court and service. We do the privacy stuff, and it's oh my God, oh my God. and now they're advertising. It would, it's private with Apple. Can I have two minutes with him? Yes. Right, right, we, we do that if we get through the yeah. rest of the Yeah. And to make sure on the phone. Now, I, I haven't had uh, Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you this. So I, I'm up forward, and okay. Mm -hmm. Did she send you any photos? Not naked photos. But she did she send you any that were? Suggested. There you go. Um, no. Okay. Did you send her anything like that? No, sir. Okay. Um, and obviously, you. I'm assuming you sent her some flirtatious text. Yes, sir. Was there any sexting going on? Do you have a sexting in? Um, draw the line for me. Uh, we are talking about sex. We're describing fantasies, that type of thing. No. Okay. Not specifically. We we talked about the night of the 28th after. Like, what did she say? Um, where I had mentioned how wet she was. And uh -huh. She said, well, I haven't had sex in a while. Would you, what would you imagine her? Um, right. Something like that. Okay. All right. All right. But she never accused you of anything? Or? No, sir. Okay. All right. Um, so, when, and I'll go ahead and tell you this, when, when we look at your phone, the phone is, is the devil. I don't think people realize how bad phones are. I can see everything that's ever been on your phone. Okay. I don't have time to look at everything that I can see. All I'm going to be looking at is her phone numbers, where you and her are communicating, text messages between you and her, that, that type of thing. Okay, so I downloaded a girl's phone a year ago. She had 80,000 photos. Oh, my goodness. Okay. You've probably got 20,000 photos. There's no way I can go through it. It's virtually impossible. If I were to download this girl's phone to paper, I would have several million sheets of paper. Wow. Okay. If I were to download yours, I don't know how long you've had the phone for or that SIM card for. Because it's going to be, the SIM card is going to have a lot of data on it also. Mm -hmm. I would probably fill this room with boxes full of paper with your, your download. It's impossible. Okay, so if you think that there's private stuff on your phone that I'm going to be looking at, dude, uh, could I? Yeah, but I would have to know how and where to go to. I'm just going to be looking specifically for y'all's communications. That's all I want. Okay. 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 Um, and disclaimer, I did get a new phone in early December. Okay. Yeah, that, that, I mean, that's fine because the text messages should still be there. Right. Okay. Right. All right, so you're at the parking garage, y'all leave, and you call her and ask her if you can use her restroom. Yes, sir. And what does she say? She said yes. Okay. So you meet her at the house. Who got there first? We both pulled up at the same time. Okay. All right. Different routes. Okay. What happens once you get to the house? We get out and say, hey. And we walk up to her front door, and she unlocks it, and she's still on the phone with her friend. And she goes and sets the phone down and doesn't turn on the lights. So for me, that's, um, you know, a sign that she doesn't want the lights on. So you know, we embrace and hug and start rubbing. Um, and then I put my hand down her pants and, you know, she's enjoying that and uh, I unzip my zipper and reveal myself and let her know that I'm revealed. And then I back away and I say, I can't do this. I need to leave. And she tells me to go wash my hands. Did, did she touch you? Your feet? Yes. Yes, she she touched me. Okay. All right. Um, and so and I, I hate to be graphic. Sure. When you say she touched you, she wrapped her hand around me. Okay. All right. Okay. So when I went to wash my hands, she went and let her dog out. Still didn't turn on the lights or anything. Um, and the front door is open this this whole time. She let the dog out the front or the back. Uh, the dog was in the crate inside. Okay. Right. She let the dog out, out of the in crate. the house. Okay. Correct. Um, so when I come back, we hug to leave and start rubbing again. And 
I touch her and she touches me. Then her dog runs out the door. Okay. So she runs out the door full speed after her dog to I'll see you tomorrow. And you know, tell her good luck. And I get in the car and go home. Try to call her on the way home. Um, who had obviously been drinking and don't know if she found her dog and is about 10 minutes later when I'm at home I call her again and she was back home she said well I got my exercise run in today she's a runner even though I didn't want to um, and then my wife comes in the room so I hang up and then that, that was when I called her back and talked to her a little bit more um, we just kind of ended it crazy night huh Right. See you tomorrow. Okay. You go back to work. Everything's fine at work, I'm assuming, within yes, the you Nothing said. No, sir. Okay. We still walk together to go get coffee or a juice down the street. Okay. Did y'all go out and to the bar anymore? No, sir. What made that stop? What made that stop was in January, the church I was attending started a fast. And I did it, you know, my wife was doing it. And what church do you go to? I love Revolution. Okay. And I started to get spiritually convicted of this. Um, towards the end of the fast, we, we were still texting and stuff through this, that's in the text records, but towards the end of the fast, the pastor had um, a word for someone we call it a word he had a message for someone in the congregation um, saying that someone in this congregation is going to be tested with lying and I knew right away it was me lying to my wife this whole time um, and I was really really convicted from it and that night's when I confessed to my wife and told her everything and the next day I met with my pastor and told him what did your wife say? She was extremely upset. How long have y'all been married? Eight years. Y'all have children, correct? Yes, or two children. Okay. How are y'all doing now? We're doing much better now. Does she know about the accusation? Yes, sir. What does she say? She believes me, and she thinks that it is that Jenny was emotionally involved, and that now she's upset that I have come and said that I don't want any more part of this. Um, I've asked my bosses to move my desk. I've asked them to not work on the project she was running. Um, and and that, not, that was before That was before she went to him. That's correct. Yeah. Yes, okay. that was before. They, they took it upon themselves to talk to her. And the very next day was when she sent the text that I read to you on the phone. Can you tell me what that text was one more time? Yes. I actually have that text because it was in my block log. Cause I, my wife said, block her number, don't talk to her at work, and I'm of course going to do everything my wife wishes. This this is the text after her boss, the boss has pulled her right. aside and said, hey, he didn't want to sit by you anymore. Right. And, and if you click on that, it'll show you the rest of that. Okay. So this is this is before the Wednesday before they talked to her Friday. And this was Friday, the February the 9th. Friday, February After 8th. she found out your desk had been moved. Yes, sir. She found out my desk was moved. My desk was moved on the 6th. They okay. talked to her on the 8th. Do you, you mind if I take a photo? No, sir. You can expand that other one too to show the rest of the.
and all this takes place after you told your bosses what had happened and your desk was moved. Yes, sir. Yep. And they'll confirm that, won't they? Yes, they would tell you that as well. Mr. Starr, is his first name Michael? Michael Starr, okay. yes, sir. I'm just taking a picture of this, so I have it. I know if y'all let me have the phone today that I'll, I'll have it, but why is my computer stupid sometimes? See if we can put a rush on his phone, maybe. So here, was it really even working or anything? Yeah, you know, it's interesting. These people, these, these victims, don't realize that she grabbed him too. Right. <laughs> you know? no, no. Mm -hmm. Um. So she comes back to work from her vacation on the sixth. Because that's yes. when there's there's a text yes. message. And sees that When did they the, talk to her, do you remember? They talked to her the 8th, that okay. Friday. Okay, and then on Monday is when she did not come back to work. Um, she came back to work. But she for, didn't come in. I think that's correct. She We had staffing, and we were all in the conference room, and she came in and talked to the bosses and then left. Okay, all right. What's, uh, what's your boss saying about all this? Um, they're trying to take a neutral stance. Are they angry at you? No, sir. Okay. All right. Um, is there any questions you have of me? In the same position we were when we first walked in? Yep. Okay. No one's under arrest? Yep. You're going home. Okay. Let me ask him a couple of questions off, off mic uh, about his phone, and then I'll see about turning that over to you. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think someplace because I don't want to shut this off. Okay. I don't want to break. Yeah, the chain. It would yeah. look bad. Right. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, you got a little office thing. Hallway is fine. I don't yeah. I'll take you all into our decompression room. There you go. It's got a bunch of holes in the wall. <laughs> I have another question I'm going to ask you, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, if the phone shows what you're telling me it's going to show me. Yes, sir. You want to press charges. Yes, Talk to your pastor. Talk to your wife. Yes. Talk back to you. Yes. Can we give me a little bit of time to answer that? Yeah. Okay. Your phone's yours. Oh, he's okay. a, he's a, uh, there are, 
And I'm going to take these, there are inappropriate pictures of his wife on there. But it's his wife. So. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to look at them. Okay. Thank you. And there's not many, there's a couple of them. No. What is your password for your phone? My uh, fingerprint. Oh. <laughs> it, it is a pattern. Okay. I can show you the pattern. Is there anything on the screen? Thank you. Oh, back there, okay. So it's up. Hang on. Hmm. Yep, I can do it again. Okay. So it's 74156. That's it? Yes, sir. And I'll do it again to show you. Seven, four, one, nine, five, six. Because he's going to have to. Uh... Do that get into the phone. Yeah. Can I show him one thing real quick? Yeah. Are these photos of your wife photos that you want to keep? Um. In other words, can you go in there and delete them? No, sir. I, they're already deleted. Okay. But they're, so they're going to be on the SIM card later? Keep. Okay. Yeah, there's communications between me and him and Pastor. Okay. And you're telling me that you don't want me to look at those? Those are, well, I mean, they're not being bad, but just with his Pastor, I guess, is stuff about that. So if we just do the, um, yeah, let's just exclude. And, there, and there's no confessions in there, but just me and, right. what's his name, Mark Stevens? Yes, Mark Stevens. Well, he's the associate pastor of okay. Mark Stevens and um, Chase Welch. Chase Welch. He's not going to give her the Give her the phone number of the girl. What's the name I, of the girl? I don't know. You know, you're a friend of mine on Facebook. Oh, am I really? Yeah. Okay. So is Chase. <laughs> okay. Chase is good, yeah. Um, do you want her number? I don't know how we became friends. I don't know either. I mean, I'm a middle school judge, no black guy. I have a lot of law enforcement yeah. stuff, so. And that's her number. <laughs> You've been over here for a long time, haven't you? In sex crimes? No, in, in law enforcement. Eight, 19 years. Or so. Right. So, I don't know. so I, is it T-Y-L-O-R? T-Y-L-E-R. A-L-L-E-N? Yes, sir. It is a Samsung or yes, something else? It's a Samsung Note 9. Is that the one that was catching on fire? <laughs> that was <a> good <laughs> Can I text my wife and tell her that I'm not going to have my phone? Because they, we have like 360 and they're going to wonder why I'm still well, well, here. <laughs> my wife and I are exact opposites. So she is an angel. When she cusses, she says puppies and rainbows. <laughs> I say fuck shit and goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so like, me and my wife, I don't cuss it, she, she'll wear you out. <laughs> so she's never been around a, a soldier, let alone a cop, and I'm both, because I'm, I'm an old paratrooper. Oh. <laughs> so when we got married a few years ago, she was not used to being married to a cop and being concerned about my, someone else's well-being the way she was concerned about mine. So we put Life 360 on our phones Okay. so she could go, okay, my husband's at the office. I know he's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Put like 360 on his phone, make sure he's not with Ann Jeanette. Right. Thirteen forty. 